In this worksheet, regional sales, we might need to move a worksheet. We might want to change the order of worksheets. You can easily move worksheets. You can make copies of them. And from time to time, you may need to group worksheets to perform changes on a whole series of worksheets at the same time. Well, let's imagine that in this particular worksheet, we've decided to move the Midwest sheet to the right of South. We simply click and drag the sheet rightward or leftward as the case may be. Now, we might also want to be considering creating a summary sheet that looks just like these. So we might begin by maybe copying data from one of these sheets onto sheet one. That wouldn't be a bad idea, but it might be even easier to copy this worksheet simply by dragging. And if you drag a worksheet as if you were moving, but also hold down the control key, you notice a tiny little plus in the icon there. We could drag this rightward, for example, right here, let go of the mouse, and we've made a copy. In this case, we've got two Pacific sheets. The second one has the name Pacific and then a two in parenthesis. These two sheets are identical in all respects except for their name. And if we were going to turn this into a summary sheet, we would eventually you know, change the wording there, but perhaps most important, double click here and simply change this to summary. You can easily copy a sheet holding down the control key and dragging a sheet tab. And then be sure to let go of the mouse first when you do that as well. And you can also copy multiple sheets. Now, maybe we're going to be experimenting with this data here. We're a little bit concerned. Could we make copies of these? We can select multiple sheets. Let's click the East sheet and with the shift key held down, let's click Pacific. If we now drag the East sheet rightward while holding down the control key, we're going to make a copy of these. Maybe we'll put it out here after all of them or somewhere out here. Drag it out here to the right. Let go of the mouse first. We've made a copy of those. And sometimes you get unusual comments about names here. Just ignore those. Click yes. You might also change your display at the bottom by putting the mouse right where you see these three dots. Click and drag rightward here. And this expands the display of sheet names. You can also move multiple sheets at the same time. You also have the possibility of copying a sheet into a brand new workbook. Let's say we're going to experiment with these in a different way. Maybe we're going to copy these so that someone else can work with them. If you right click a sheet tab and choose move or copy, you can, first of all, create a copy and decide where you want to put it in this worksheet. This isn't too efficient, but we could put it into another workbook if another one's open or a new book and click OK. So we've copied this to a brand new workbook called Book One, and we've got two workbooks open right now. We can easily switch between them with Control Tab, so I'll press that and go back to the other workbook we're looking at. So here we are. Now, if we want to make changes to a whole series of workbooks at the same time, we can group them. And so suppose for these five sheets, East, South, Midwest, Pacific, and Summary, we want to change all of them by inserting a new row above row seven. We can select multiple sheets by selecting the first or last sheet. In this case, I've clicked Summary. And now holding down the Shift key, I'm going to click East. When you select two or more sheets, the word group appears in the title bar at the top of your screen. And learn to keep an eye on that. While these sheets are grouped, any change we make on the screen is going to happen on all five sheets. I'm going to right click row seven and insert. Now we're currently looking at the summary sheet. We just made a change there. But that same change has occurred on the Midwest sheet, the South sheet, the East sheet, and they're still grouped too. And you want to be sensitive to this idea that if they are, if you were to change this number, for example, that's going to be changing that on all five sheets. But you might want to make some formatting changes here, or you could add data. You could put in today's date right there. That would appear on all five of them if that's what you wanted. That would happen too. 
To ungroup the sheets, you can either click one of the sheets that's not part of the grouping or possibly just right click one of the sheets here and ungroup them. There could be unusual situations where you want to make changes to two of the sheets, three of the sheets, and they're not adjacent. If we want to make a change to South and Pacific, that would be unlikely, but we could click the South sheet. And then to select the Pacific sheet, we'll hold down the control key and click Pacific. And those two sheets are currently grouped. Once again, we see the word group at the top of the screen. And when you see that, you don't necessarily know what's grouped until you look at the bottom to see how the highlighting is done differently. So with South and Pacific currently selected, if we make a change, then it's only occurring on those two sheets. I'll just make a small change here, make the column wider. Click on Midwest to do the ungrouping. And just to prove the point here, the East sheet still has the narrower column A. South has the wider version, Midwest we didn't change, Pacific we did, and so on. A consecutive set of them using the shift key so we can make changes to all of them. And earlier in this movie, we saw how to move and copy worksheets within a workbook.